Hello my fellow Eorzeans, and welcome to Voices of Eorzea. This channel wasn't meant for this type of video, but I felt compelled to make it nonetheless. Today, we are going to be talking about a pest that frequents not just Final Fantasy XIV, but MMOs in general, and about how I personally have been dealing with them, and even find that I am enjoying myself while doing it. Bots. For those of you that frequent Eureka, specifically Pyros, you'll likely have run into these fellas at the central bunny fate. Simply, these bots are repeating the fate over and over again for the chest rewards that the bunnies lead them to. The chests contain an assortment of rewards that can be sold for auction, including logograms, glam horns, a hairstyle, and a mount. But the raw gill from them is fairly decent too. Bronze contains 10,000, silver 25,000, and gold, 100,000. This all adds up considerably for a botting program that can continue to do this essentially forever. And most of these bots I've seen here personally for over six months. That is a lot of gill for zero work. Now, I got bored one day while waiting around and decided to see if I could kill the bots. So, I started grabbing as many mobs in the local area that perform AoE attacks and pulled them over the bots during the fate when their levels became squished. And lucky me, the bots started to die. Now by no means do I believe that I am the first to do this, it's just that I happened to stumble onto the process and wanted to share the method. I'm sure there are even better ways to do it, I'm just too lazy to dig for it. For each death, they immediately respawn and lose 25% of Eureka XP and if you do this enough, they lose levels. Eventually, they will de-level so much that they will start dying on their own when they try to do the fate, essentially making them useless, until whoever runs the program stops and starts to re-level them. I've noticed that when they get round to a level 40, they seem to go off and start leveling again. I assume the owners have come back and decided they need to increase their level. I also assume that they're very pissed off when this happens. Some of them I have managed to get all the way down to level 10 until they just start running out of the base camp and killing themselves on the mobs they first encounter on the way out, which is very fun to watch. Now, sometimes they are accompanied by healing bots, which I did think would put a stop to my crusade, but eventually I figured out how to stop them too. So, if there are healing bots, they tend to AoE down any mobs that make contact with anyone close by, including non-fate mobs. So, instead of pulling the mobs over them, as soon as the fate spawns, I wait until they start fighting the boss. Now, they seem so focused on healing and damaging the boss, they stop all AoE, or at least reduce it, and then cannot keep up with the AoE damage from the mobs I have brought their way. As you can see, they just start to melt, allowing me to then pull the mobs over the tank and the DPS bots and finish them off too. If it is just you and the bots, then you can even hold off finishing the fate and wait for them to return in order to keep killing them until they either finish the fate or the fate kills all of the bunnies. Sorry bunnies, for now you're going to have to take one for the team. If there are other players around, I will tell them what I am doing and ask them to avoid doing any AoE during the fate and not to kill the mobs that are attacking me. I also ask them to avoid healing me just in case they pull aggro onto themselves. I don't want any civilians pulled into my holy war. In order to do all of this, I pick a tank class, for now, warrior, and I use Cure L, which can be obtained from conceptual logograms. It has no limit, so I just spam it on myself to keep me alive. I also adjust my Magia board to the water defensive element to hold off the mob's damage, but that isn't too much of a big deal. As I mentioned before, I run around grabbing mobs then wait for the fate to spawn to pull them over on top of them, so they can AoE them down. If there are no healers, I do this as soon as the fate spawns. If there are healers, I wait until they all start attacking the boss, then I jump in, melting them down bit by bit. Now once you get them around the early 40s, 41 to 42, you can actually start killing them outside of the fate. It takes a long time, but it can be done. And. That's it. Well, at least until the owners of the bots figure out how to counter this. So, if you're like me and want something to do while hanging around Eureka, feel free to join in on my crusade and help out with this bot infestation. As I'm sure many of you have been reporting these bots, you will notice that they've been around for a very long time and it seems Square Enix has no interest in doing anything about it. So I welcome all assistance in this. 
I hope you have enjoyed this random video on my Final Fantasy antics and enjoy the rest of your day. Many thanks and bye for now.